All right, let's talk about multiplying fractions. If I have one half times four fifths, for multiplying, we just take our numerator times our numerator, denominator times our denominator. So this would be 1 times 4 over 2 times 5. So this would be 4 over 10. And we need to reduce this fraction, so we'll divide by 2, and that would be 2 fifths. Now, if we have 6 over 10 times 5 over 18, these numbers are starting to get a little big. So we can do what we call cross reducing or canceling to make our numbers smaller from the beginning. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the numerator, match it with the opposite denominator, and ask, do 6 and 18 have a common factor? They do. They are both divisible by... 6. So if we do 6 divided by 6, this now becomes 1. 18 divided by 6 now becomes 3. Do 5 and 10 have a common factor? Yes, they do. We can divide both of those by 5. 5 divided by 5 would now be 1. 10 divided by 5 would be 2. So now, what we're really doing is we're taking our 1 here and our 1, so 1 times 1, and now we have a 2 and a 3 in the denominator, 2 times 3, and that would be 1 6. And if we want to multiply this all the way out, we know that 6 times 5 would be 30, 10 times 18 is 180, that is kind of big. We would divide by 30 here, and notice it is 1 6. So we want to cross reduce first to make our problems easier to solve. Now, if we have some mixed numbers, for instance, 3 and a half times 2 and a fourth. First, we have to change our numbers to improper fractions. You cannot multiply mixed numbers. So here we would have 7 halves times 9 fourths. Can I cross reduce anything? No. 7 and 4 do not have a common factor. 9 and 2 do not have a common factor. Now 7 times 9 would be 63. 2 times 4 would be 8. And 63 divided by 8 would be 7. And 7 times 8 would be 56, so we have a remainder of 7. That would be 7 and 7 eighths. All right, what if we had a whole number, for example, 5 times 3 and 1 7th? First, we want to rewrite our 5 as a fraction. So we would put that as 5 over 1. And now we would change that to an improper fraction, and now we can multiply. So 5 times 22 is 110, 1 times 7 is 7, and 110 divided by 7 would be 15, with the remainder of 5 sevenths. All right. Let's do one more, one or two more problems, and practice some of that cross-canceling. So if we have 8 tenths, times 4, let's make this 4 eighteenths, all right, just for practice purposes. We can reduce our 8 and our 18 if we divide by 2. This would become a 4, this would become a 9. We can cross reduce our 10 and our 4 by dividing by 2. This would become a 2, this would become a 5. So now I have 4 times 2, and in the denominator, 5 times 9, and that would give you 8 over 45. All right, let's next talk about how to divide fractions. All right, so it is a form 
of multiplication, we don't actually ever really divide. If we have 3 fourths divided by 1 half, our first fraction stays the same. We change division to multiplication, so we really end up with a multiplication problem. And we write the reciprocal of our second term. So reciprocal means that we are going to flip our denominator and our numerator. So this would now be 2 over 1. Now we just look at this as a multiplication problem. So you could cross reduce your 2 and a 4. All right. And so if we divide by 2, that would be a 1. This would be a 2. 3 times 1 would be 3. 2 times 1 would be 2. And that simplifies to 1 and 1 half. Let's try another one. We have 7 eighths divided by 2 fifths. We would have 7 eighths times 5 over 2. I can't cross cancel or reduce anything. So now 7 times 5 is 35. 8 times 2 is 16. 35 divided by 16 is 2, which is 32. That leaves me with the remainder of 3 over 16. Now, if we are dividing mixed numbers, we have to do the same thing that we did with multiplication. First, we have to change those to improper fractions. So if we have 2 and 3 fifths divided by 3 tenths, first we would change this to 13 over 5. Multiplication, now we write the reciprocal of the second term. Can we cross reduce any of these terms? We can cross reduce the 5 and the 10 by dividing by 5. So we would have a 1 here and a 2 here. So now 13 times 2 is 26. 1 times 3 is 3. 26 divided by 3 is 8 with a remainder of 2. So 8 and 2 thirds. One last problem to review for division. If we have 3 and 1 fourth divided by 8. First we would write this as 13 fourths. Now remember 8 as a fraction is just 8 over 1. So first just write it as a division problem. Now let's go ahead and write the reciprocal of the second term which would be 1 8. So now we have 13 over 4 times 1 8. Can I cross cancel anything? No. 13 times 1 would be 13. 4 times 8 would be 32. So there's a quick review of multiplication and division of fractions and mixed numbers.